licensed psychologist and I'm currently a postdoc at CHOP Center for Autism Research. Regarding my research, I identify as a qualitative researcher, and that means a number of different things. But for me specifically, it really reflects the type of methods that I use to make sense of people's experiences. As a qualitative researcher, uh, my research covers a number of different areas underneath the umbrella of Black developmental experiences. Specifically, I look at things like um, policing, specifically with Black autistic youth, as well as looking at the mothering experiences of Black mothers and what that looks like um, in different contexts. Additionally, I also look specifically at what are the methods that we can use that are most culturally responsive and anti-racist and culturally sensitive so that we can improve our research. I enjoy doing this research and part of why I enjoy it is because in Black culture, storytelling is so pertinent to uh, the fabric of the Black diaspora. And so I embed that in my own journey as a researcher and understanding the uh, impact of the environment on Black psychological development across mothering, autism, and things like policing. Regarding some um, advice that I would share with women that are interested in STEM or pursuing STEM. I think there's so many different ways to go about this, but I'm just going to share what's been working for me. Um, the first is mentorship. So identify a mentor or mentors that have experience doing exactly that it, what it is that you want to do and that can explicitly tell you how to do um, what you're trying to achieve. That's incredibly important, someone that's going to kind of take the bill off and not gatekeep and be really honest about what steps you need to take um, in your journey. Secondly, I would say identify opportunities where you um, are invested in uh, groups and grants and awards that want to invest in you or someone like you. Uh, for me specifically at CHOP, I have been honored and so grateful to be awarded um, an academic fellowship in diversity. Um, this particular award has provided me mentorship opportunities as well as provided an infrastructure, infrastructure where I can pursue my research meaningfully. Um, and it's for scholars from diverse backgrounds and really helps to diversify the CHOP and PEN communities and research. And so I strongly recommend for women with diverse backgrounds that are interested in institutions like CHOP or PEN to consider the fellowship in academic diversity. In addition to putting yourself in uh, positions where you are challenged so that you can grow, also be mindful to put yourself um, in positions that are aligned with your strengths and to lean into your strengths. I think this is incredibly important when thinking about persistence, which is necessary when in STEM and when you are a woman in STEM, but can um, make the battle a little bit easier, make the journey a little bit more easier uh, when we have uh, things on our plate that are less effortful, things that come more natural and more easy to us. And so lean into your strengths.